In August, thousands of refugees, Afghan refugees, crammed into a United States Air Force plane following the United States withdrawal of troops and, and the Taliban taking over. These are the images that quickly spread around the world. In that moment, thousands fled the country they once called home. Now months, on, many are leaving the refugee camps here in the U.S. and are beginning their new life in America. But with that comes new challenges. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips joins us live now. And Rachel, you learned of a family today who is facing some adversity in beginning their transition to resettling here in El Paso. That's right, Eric. We're talking about a family of eight who fled to the states back in September and are choosing to resettle right here in the borderland. Take a look at this video here of an empty house. After spending months in a refugee camp in Fort Dix in Pennsylvania, the family traveled here to El Paso and stayed in a hotel for a couple of weeks while they found a house. Today is move-in day to that house. And yes, while they have a place to live in their new city, it's still far from becoming a home. Like so many, when the family arrived, they had nothing but the clothes on their back. Veronica Fresca is the Refugee Resettlement Program Director for El Carvario UMC Immigrant Advocacy Center told me, right now, this family is moving into their house today with no beds, no furniture, and no food, just to name a few. They left their, their country that they'll probably never see again, family members that they will probably never see again, friends and family, and um, just starting new, you know, from, from scratch in, in, a, in a community that is foreign to them, a, a nation that is foreign to them. And Eric, in regards to items, Veronica told me that if you think of something that would go into a house, they need it. If you want to donate and help this family as they begin their new life here in El Paso, you can call the number on your screen, 915-745-0204. We also have all of these details on our website at kva.com. Veronica also told me that they also need volunteers to help build and move furniture into the house. Coming up on ABC 7 at 10, we look at why finding furniture and houses for this family and many others aren't the only challenges they're facing. For now, putting live from the newsroom, Rachel Phillips, ABC 7. All right, Rachel, the State Department has given a new update to the resettlement efforts regarding Operation Allies Refugee or Refuge. Officials say that since the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in August, a total of 38,000 Afghan refugees have already been relocated from military installations and into the interior of the country. In total, the federal government expects to process and relocate 95,000 people. The State Department says less than a dozen U.S. citizens remain in Afghanistan. More than 40% of the Afghans qualify for special visas. 